Hi again. The next uh, video that we're going to look at is uh, Surds and the Distributive Law. Uh, this is just a sort of fancy way of saying that um, you can expand uh, brackets um, using Surds as well. Um, they, you know, they behave just like normal numbers, just like algebra, um, like we were s sort of seeing before. But it means that you can do things uh, like this in my example. So the distributive law, I mean, you don't really need to know that. You just need to remember that when you ex expand brackets, it means that, that root 7 is distributed to the root 2 and also to the root 3. That's kind of what the distributive law is. Anyway, let's just get down to what we actually need to do. So uh, for this one, it's just the same as, you know, year 8 algebra when you first learn to expand this sort of stuff root 7 multiplied by root 2, root 7 multiplied by root 3, and we add to them together because that's the symbol in the middle. So, root 7 times root 2 plus root 7 times root 3, that becomes root 14 plus root 21. Now at this point I check, can I add those two together? No, they're not the same. Can I simplify these two? I don't think I can. If I look at that root 21, I don't think any numbers will go into it except for one, but one's you know pretty useless for simplifying. And root 14, the same idea. None of the, the numbers up the top will go into root 14. So that is my answer. That's the finish. Sometimes it's a little bit more complicated because I might have a number in front of uh, the, the square root sign. So in this case, 3 root 3 plus sorry, multiplied by root 6 plus root 2. So I begin to expand this, becomes 3 root 3 times root 6 plus 3 root 3 times root 2. And now I just go back to um, what I was doing you know, back in 12.2, which is just multiplying the thirds together and multiplying the numbers together. Now the, the number in front of root 6 is a 1 and the number in front of the root 2 is a 1. So this becomes 3 root 18 plus 3 root 6. Okay, But we always, always, always need to simplify. So I need to look at my root 6. I can't simplify that. I need to look at my root 18. I can simplify that. There's a number that goes into, a number at the top that goes into root 18. And I'm going to uh, say that that is root 9. So you always remember to simplify. It's 3 root 9 times root 2, because root 9 times root 2 is root 18, plus the 3 root 6. We can't simplify that one any further. So that becomes 3 times the square root of 9, which is 3, times root 2 plus 3 root 6, which ends up being 9 root 2 plus 3 root 6. Okay, the last thing that I want to show you for today is um, when we... Uh, have two brackets multiplied together or it could be three brackets or four brackets or five brackets but you know most commonly we just look at two brackets like this uh, root 3 plus root 5 in, bra in one bracket multiplied by root 2 minus root 3 you need to remember um, FOIL or if you've never seen that before it doesn't really matter but this is I think what you, know, you might have been taught in year 9 and year 10 um, to expand these brackets you need to you you, know, you don't have to but this is one way of expanding it you can multiply the first ones together this one then you can multiply the outside ones together these two then the inside ones together those two and then finally the last ones together but it really doesn't matter which way you do it as long as you keep the minuses attached to the, the you know this the root 3 and the positive attached to the root 5 and as long as you've got all the terms it really doesn't matter which way you do it I'm going to do it that way just because that's the way I've uh, mentioned it before. So I do my first multiplied together. So root 3 multiplied by root 2 plus root 3 multiplied by negative root 3 plus... I always put a plus in between these things here, but the term might end up being negative later on, but initially I put a plus in there. And then the insides, root 5 times root 2 and then finally, root 5 times uh, negative root 3. Okay, and now I just do each of those um, ones individually. So it becomes root 6, root 3 multiplied by negative root 3. Whenever you've got the same square root multiplied with each other, it basically cancels out the square root sign. So that becomes, you know, root 3 times root 3 is 3. Root 10 times root 10 is 10. Root 100 times root 100 is 100. 
So root three times negative root three becomes negative three plus root 10 minus root 15. I collect any like terms. In this case, none of them are similar. Okay, so none of those ones are, are, are the same at all. And the other thing is I simplify if possible. Now I look into all of these and I can't simplify any of them. But that's, you know, these two things I always need to do, collect like terms and simplify if possible. The other thing too is that it really doesn't matter what order you've got these things in. So I'm, I'm going to write, write that uh, exact answer in a different order. I'll show you. Um, you could also write that as negative root 3 minus root 15 plus root 6 plus root 10. All, we have all the same uh, items in there, all of, all, all of the same um, numbers, square roots and, and uh, serves and um, things, but it's just in a different order. It really makes no difference whatsoever. There's no right or the, there's, there's no wrong, as long as the negative is in front of the, the same thing. So negative root 15, negative root 15, negative 3, negative 3, positive root 6 and positive root 10. So it doesn't matter which order you put them in, as long as it all works like that. Hopefully that has made a little bit of sense today. Um, now you can attempt uh, exercise 12.4.